Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Beautiful day today, blue sky, quite warm. And I'm in the village of Warnham in West Sussex near Horsham. And I brought you here for something um, quite special really if you're into poetry. I'm not a, into poetry really, but a famous poet was born here. So Warnham was the birthplace in 1792 of the famous poet Percy Blythe Shelley. Shelley was born here. This is St Margaret's Church where he was baptised in 1792 or so. Although um, he's not buried here. Most of his family and descendants and pre-descendants are, are got many um, tombs here. But he's, he's built, uh, buried in Italy after being killed in a, a boating accident. Yeah, Shelley was born in this in this very village over at Field Place, which um, he, used, he used to live at. He, of course, married Mary Shelley in 1816. Mary Shelley, of course, wrote Frankenstein, or the modern Prometheus, which many regard, I do, as the world's first, although it probably wouldn't have been coined this at the time, but the world's first science fiction novel. Yeah, head of H.G. Wells and Jules Verne, but I think Frankenstein is the first, well, especially a horror movie, a horror novel, but it's the first science fiction novel, I think. But obviously, he was um, quite an outspoken chap, was old Shelley. He was an atheist, although that, I don't think that, that term really was around then. Um, that's one of the reasons, no reason he's not buried here. I don't think his father can, uh, approved of his, of his opinions and his ways. I've never been to Warner before, it's really nice, it's really, really nice. I mean, there's, if you go around, there's a few streets called Shelley Road and Shelley Street and that kind of thing, which is lovely. Yeah, it's really nice, especially when you've got blue sky, which is always good, always good. I've got lunch booked at the Sussex Oak across the road from the church, which would be lovely. Look, look around and then we're going to have a look inside the church. Yeah, so Shelley did his self-exile in 1816 because of his political views and radical thinking. And so unfortunately died in that boating accident at the only age of 29. His body was washed up on the shore 10 days later and they cremated him on the beach with his ashes interred uh, in Rome. Yeah, very young. It's good to have free thinkers. I think it's important to have free thinkers. How would the world progress if we didn't have free thinkers? So the Church of St Margaret's was built between 1180 and 1204 by William de Broads. This is a lot of restoration added on since, of course. So uh, we're going to have a look inside. Very welcoming church. I do like it when they're open. I do like it when they're open. So Shelley would have been baptised here in 1792. Yeah, it's lovely. You can tell there's a lot of Victorian added, adding on bits. It was much enlarged in the 14th century. So there's really a lot of mishmash of styles here. Um, the font, not the top half, obviously, the font is 12th century, 12th century font. There's a little memorial here to Shelley. Um, Percy Shelley, the poet, was born at Phil Place at Warnham on the 4th of August 1792 and baptised in this church on the 7th of September 1792. He died drowned at sea on the 8th of July 1822. So he would obviously die before he became the success that he was. As well as the Shelley family, there's the Carroll family, it seems to be a prominent name in the area. Um, so in these parishes, you did have these prominent um, families, not so much nowadays, of course. Good thing or bad thing, I don't know. 
I leave that for you to decide. Yeah, there were more in there, but they were both entered. Facsimile of the 1792 parish register, recording the baptism of the poet Percy Shelley. There it is. It's a facsimile, though. That's me done, yes. <laughs> this is all in preparation for the churchyard thing on Saturday. Oh, here we go. Right. Then you can sort out the lights in this, or oh, whether all the lights off could be better, I don't know. That's fine, it's fine. That's that incredible. So, so yeah, not, not many people will see this because no, no, that's right. no. this is office, office space, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. That was very nice. People don't see that plaque up on the wall because it's all in, a, in locked doors. He said there's a um, a Shelley shrine around here. Um, this one up on the wall is quite quite cool. It's very hard to read some of the writing though. Um, there's buttresses. It's a lovely lovely um, little church here. Lovely little church. This is cool. This ancient stone here. In the year 2000, so back in the millennium, this ancient tithe stone was placed here in the churchyard to represent the association between the church and the village, which is nice. Some of these villages, I say, I, I may have driven. I may have driven through here. I don't think I have. We're right on the sort of Surrey, Sussex, West Sussex border. We are in West Sussex, not far from Gatwick Airport, Horsham. It's lovely. And the weather's been lovely today, absolutely lovely. Yeah, someone's got a swimming pool in their garden, but it looks really, really murky. I don't think I want to take a dip in that. And it's like November. So what else is in Warnham? It's old, very, very mishmash of styles here. Very much a mishmash of styles. Even in these little villages, everywhere you go, there's a delivery van. We all do it. We all do it. I'm not saying anything holier than thou. I have miamas in deliveries, like everyone else. But um, yeah. Spoils the atmos a bit sometimes. Don't know why that required a northern accent, but there you go. You've obviously got the new builds of these kind of places. Um, but they're sort of fitted in with the, along with the ancient houses. Oh, yeah. Friday Street, not like the one in um, in the Surrey Hills, which I did a video from back in the summer. Yeah, these nice houses here look quite cool. Yeah. And that goes up to, back towards Horsham. People there sitting out in their garden having a cup of coffee, very cool. We'll go down this way now. Going back towards the pub. And the church. So most of the point I think this is the cut through road. It looks like a cut through road. So much traffic comes comes through, spoiling the ambience. Well my car came through so I'm adding to it. There's a little lane that goes by the uh, little pathway that goes by the church. So I've sort of come back to that where I started the video. I just want to see where it, where it leads. I think it's just out into open fields. Maybe there's um, some walking trails around here. Um, which would be nice. You can hear the uh, roar of the motorway not far away. That will be the M20, uh, M23, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, so we go around into public footpath. It looks a bit muddy. Yeah. And then the views back to the back to the churchyard. 
So there was a church in the background. I think it's time for lunch. I'm a bit early, so I wonder if they can fit me in earlier. They normally can. It is a weekday. Well, it's uh, Friday the, no, sorry. It's not Friday, it's Wednesday the 30th of November into December tomorrow. Um, and Christmas. I'm not a Christmas person, I'm afraid. Bar humbug. No, not so much bar humbug. I'm just not a Christmas person. End of. Yeah, that word. Carol Place. See that family? Carol again. C A R Y L L. Carol. Just by the pub is this old barn. I don't know how old it is. There's no plaque on there. But it's um, rather nice. Yeah, wondering how old that is. Anyway, let's go and have some grub. Thanks again. Cheers. Bye bye. Thank you. So there you go. That was a lovely pub lunch in the Surrey Oaks. Highly recommended. Really friendly staff. I loved it. So if you look, uh, oh, there's a church, by the way, uh, across from the pub. If you want to like and subscribe and all that normal stuff we do on YouTube, it's very much appreciated. And we'll see you next time. Take care. Mm -hmm.